creating our half a man and what you need is a footage of yourself doing something like this I have a towel over my lower half and one thing you've got to make sure you do is have a bit of skin showing because otherwise it's going to be really hard to blend this isn't very good footage the white's all blown out I'm sure you'll have much better stuff but that's what I'm going to use and we're also going to be using Photoshop okay let's get started so we're going to drag our footage into a new comp then we're going to drag out end time bring it all the way to the first frame and go composition add to render queue and then we're going to change it to jpeg sequence and press ok and then render that out it's just going to render out render out a single frame and then bring it into photoshop okay so we got our picture inside of photoshop Now, first thing we want to do is get rid of this lower half so the simple way we're going to do that is we're going to use the clone stamp tool use close bracket to increase the brush size and open bracket to decrease it we're going to make sure our hardener is we don't want it too soft because otherwise we'll have no control um, we'll make it a bit smaller to start with and then alt click to choose where we're going to start and then we're going to it's going to start off a bit bitty like just single dabs because we don't have much grass to work with at the moment but as you can see now we can swipe And then I'm going to do this quickly so my Photoshop job isn't going to look too good because basically I want to try and get the technique across so that you can spend as much time as you feel need as you want to do so okay so basically we've got rid of that towel now the next thing we're going to do is try and make it look a bit more bloody because at the moment I don't know what that looks like it looks like someone's put some astroturf over me um, so what we're going to do is we're going to start overlaying some stuff so I've got some lots of textures here I'll go through them all in a second just select these all and bring them all in Okay, so we've got some cool stuff here. Now, the first thing I want to do is overlay something that looks like some... This is the one I want to use first. So, if we minimize most of these others, I'm just going to drag and drop this layer into the here. Now, we want to uncheck our... Double-click on our background layer press OK. This is going to make it an editable layer. That's what we want. One thing we also want to do, I should have done it at the start really, is bring in our original frame again. Oh, it's not going to let us do it now. Okay, we'll file save as and press save. Now we've got our saved as a Photoshop we should be able to bring our frame back in. Okay, basically the reason we have this is because if we accidentally do too much stuff or something goes wrong, then we've got our original source photo. Right, okay. What we want to do, grab our top layer, decrease the opacity so that we can see both layers. Then control T so we can manipulate this. bring it up. What we're trying to do is kind of like line this crispy edge up with where we think the body's going to be and then press enter to accept that. Now we can bring the opacity back up and what we're going to do is rub out loads of this stuff because most of it's a load of rubbish. Make sure the hardness is down to zero and then just rub away. Watch what you get rid of though because we don't want to lose too much. It's a good thing to not rub out too much in one go, because if you keep on taking breaks, then it means that you can always control Z, whereas if you do like it all in one go, and you press control Z, you're going to have to redo the whole thing again. Okay, I'm going to zoom in a bit, 
decrease my brush size. Remember, open bracket to do that. And make I'm, I'm going to blend it in to my body. Uh, there we go. It's looking good already, I think. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to grab something else. What we want to do, zoom in here so that we can see this. Zoom out. Control minus, sorry, and control plus to do that. Grab our pen tool. Make sure that this icon is selected. I think that's paths. And then we're going to start drawing around the inside of here. Remember, you spend as much time as you need to do this because there's no point in watching me create a masterpiece because, frankly, it's not going to do you any good and it's just going to waste your time. Right. Nearly done. And that looks good. Now, we're going to choose our... S sorry, we're going to right-click and press um, Make Selection. And we're going to feather it one pixel and then come over to our selection tool right click and press layer by cut and then as you can see we've now got two separate layers that we can turn on and off and we want to turn this mid we want to make this middle one underneath the other if that makes sense and we'll rename this skin crust so that we can always keep it on top because this without this layer it's the effect is nothing zoom out control minus and we're just going to tidy the skin crust up a bit because it's looking a bit funny it looks like it's leaking onto the grass there we go okay next thing we want to do is add a bit more red in there so I've got to try and find my thing. I'm not being very organized here. This is the one we want. V to grab our move tool thing and drag it into here. What I'm going to do is leave it here and then grab our clone stamp tool. Bring it under our skin crust. Clone stamp tool, decrease our brush size a bit, and then what we can do is just start painting some red in. So I'll click here. I'm going to bring the opacity down and then start painting some red in. Like that. Okay, now the thing that's going to. Wait, sorry. Grab our rectangular marquee tool. Select that and press delete. Control D to deselect. Restore our thing. Now the thing that's going to really sell the effect is our guts. As long as I can find them. Guts. This this is the key part of it. We're going to bring it into here. Now all of these images I've got off Google. You can just Google what you think. We'll come up with similar. And if these pictures belong to people and they have a problem, I will remove the tutorial. But frankly that's, that's quite sad because you're getting your picture shown and people are learning right we'll make sure it's this way up and then whilst it's big hit enter whilst it's big we're going to um rub out everything else because it's more effective that way because there's no point in playing around with tiny brushes and you don't have many pixels to work with it's not going to get you anywhere Hold down the. Sp if you hold down the um, space bar, you can move around your um, scene, no matter what tool you're on. I use that a lot. I think I need to increase the hardness a bit because I'm feeling like I don't have much control here. And as you can see, it's still soft edge, so. Now I'm just going to do this quickly because I don't want to waste your time. Okay, control S to save your thing, make sure we don't want to lose this. Then control T, we're going to bring it in here. 
hold down shift to do a uniform scale but quite frankly we don't want to care about its actual scale we just want to reshape this and all we want to do is make sure it kind of like fills the whole thing that looks pretty good what I'm going to do is press enter and then I'm going to duplicate the layer, so right click, duplicate layer and bring it above the skin crust but what I'm going to do is rub out everything but that gut that's hanging over the edge you see what I mean like that and then grab our original one and make sure it's not spilling out too much like that now what else do we need to do that's actually looking pretty good I'm not going to do too much else because you can spend as much time as you want adding extra layers like messing around putting some red skin you can also do some color correcting to the stuff because it looks quite good but it doesn't look totally real um, you might want to like grab this layer image adjustment do some curves I don't know something like that and you could also which is what I think is a really good idea is add like a pool of blood something like that okay so that's looking pretty good now what we need to do is set it up to be work as we're gonna work it as if it were a matte painting so the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna bring it down we got want to find our half a man. Here we go. Right, bring it in here. The reason we're doing this is because we can see if it overlays well. Now, turn it off for now. Grab our rubber tool, make sure we've got our bottom layer selected. And basically, we know that our head is going to be moving. So, bring our hardness down of our rubber. So, we're going to rub out there. I know that this arm moves, so we're going to rub that out. And I think that he comes up to about there. Obviously, it's a bit of a trial and error game, or possibly you're better off um, using a um, better single frame to work with, but it doesn't make too much difference. Going to increase the brush size. Remember that's close bracket to do that. And the reason I'm doing that is so that it blends better. And I can leave that arm there because I think that's going to sell it a bit more because that arm stays still anyway. And then we're going to press nothing. We're going to save that file, save, and that looks good for now.